Adonis, that's right. This classic car show was canceled last year due to COVID-19, but it's back and better than ever this year. And it would have been the 30th anniversary. It started today with a fun run from Desert, Desert Hills Golf Course all the way down here to downtown Yuma. Reporting in Yuma, Samantha Bird, News Alert. Hot rods and classic cars on the streets of Yuma can mean only one thing. Midnight at the Oasis is back. Chris Wheeler, owner of Prison Hill Brewery and president of the Downtown Merchants Association, says the rally brings around 5,000 spectators to downtown Yuma. Every year for about the last six or seven years, um, it started off with, you know, a, the end of the parade would come downtown and they would park and somebody got the good idea to park all the cars on Main Street and now it's a formal event. Midnight at the Oasis will continue at Desert Sun Stadium throughout the weekend with classic cars and concerts. There are a few locals but uh, we get entrants from all over the country. We get them from the Northwest, from the Midwest. We, we have people that come from all the United States to participate in our car show. Mary Jane and Wayne Zaroff have been participating in Mado for over 20 years. Well, when our daughters were little, um, we used to come with them, and now we have grandchildren. And, and I have grandkids that will be yeah. driving them in the parade, and they enjoy coming, and the food's good, and we love looking at all the other cars. The Zaroffs will be showcasing five classic cars this year. Midnight at the Oasis continues at Desert Sun Stadium tomorrow and tickets are on sale now for $5. Visit our website at www.kyma.com for more information. Reporting in downtown Yuma, I'm Samantha Bird, News 11. Sammy, good stuff. Thank you.